The stringers have been combing the streets for video for a few hours now, and so far, Big Henry keeps encountering all the action. A uh, female got uh, carjacked. Big Henry heads over to a scene. It doesn't seem like much. He decides to investigate before he takes his camera out. Black male, white male? White male. Um, was sitting here. She was walking to a car right over here and uh, says he just kind of approached her, grabbed her from behind, said that he had a gun and he wanted her to come with her. She said no, she'd rather be shot. And she dropped her purse and I guess around this way and he grabbed her phone and her keys from her purse and took her car. Okay. You better shoot it. <laughs> Big Henry takes his time shooting the scene from all angles. He does his best not to get in the way of the investigation. And what kind of car? Uh, it's a 2002 white Hyundai Accent. The suspect is still at large. Big Henry gets all the vital details of the crime scene, even as police are trying to figure it out for themselves. The lady just, how old is she? Oh, she's... 25. You said 26. <laughs> Only moments later, little Henry gets a call. This one seems serious. Considering the way the night has been going, little Henry doesn't get his hopes up high. Let's go right here, bro. Let's go right here. As he approaches and it's a fire that is still going, little Henry wastes no time in getting his camera. Uh, the house fire, the, the owners and stuff had just left. The fire is still burning and has even knocked down some power lines. Uh, it, it was difficult when the fire fires got there. Stringers are there to get it all on tape. Yeah, I'm trying to run up there to get the good shot. I'm trying to hurry up before they put the fire out or you know, whatever's going on inside the line. Fire crews are hesitant to approach the scene. <laughs> The power line was, was still kind of attached to the house, sparking. Little Henry diligently covers the fire from all angles. There was no part of it. <laughs> I don't like shooting inside the ambulances. You know. if, they're out in the, if they're out on the street, it's fair game. You know, but when, once they're inside the ambulance, it's just it's a different story. I don't like shooting in them, so kind of pisses a bunch of the paramedics off too. So I try to stay away from it. Once he has all the footage, he attempts to get the information. We go see what the chief has to say. The power line was was still kind of attached to the house, sparking, and so they had to stay clear of that. In fact, it's still alive right now. It's just not sparking. We're waiting on city public service to come and cut the power. And you have one firefighter that's injured? Yes. Uh, Minor injury. They're going to transfer her and uh, just try to make sure she's okay. Okay. Little Henry's diligence pays off, and it's off to the next scene. All right. Got the info for this fire. On to the next one. See what happens tonight. In another part of the Alamo City, the busy night has stirred up an appetite for Big Henry. But before he can enjoy his feast, duty calls. 824 It's an accident off the freeway. The authorities have access to the scene blocked off. Big Henry manages to make his way in to record the scene. Did I get him? I just went over there. Oh, okay. At first, Big Henry keeps his distance. The accident seems very minor. As he moves around to capture the story from a different angles. He soon discovers that this accident has a very tragic result.
Big Henry's hunger gets the best of him. Oh, yeah. Eat when you can and on the run. Despite the graphic scene, he goes back to finish his late night lunch. I got to get the age. I'm hungry. Thing out. It was uh, had three lug nuts off and got hit by a passing car, which didn't stop. And yeah. The non the non fall vehicle doesn't stop. Right. All right. Well, thank you, sir. All right. Appreciate it. Stay out of trouble now. What are my thoughts? It's just a life there, wasted for some gal changing a tire. <laughs>